This is a short video describing how to make the redfish uh, soft pad eyes. Uh, to start with, you want to use polypropylene webbing, not nylon. Uh, three quarter inch polypropylene. Uh, place the polypropylene between two pieces of flat material, either metal or hardwood. Uh, in this video, I used Purple Heart and cut slots into the side, but that's not necessary. Leave about half of an inch of the tail ends exposed. The next step is to use a lighter or a torch on a very low setting to ignite the ends of the uh, pad eyes. Let the material burn down until it flows out onto the jig on both sides of the pad eye, and then immediately extinguish the flame. I'm going to let the pad eye on the left burn down too long just to demonstrate how not to melt it. If you let the pad eye melt for too long it will actually become too thin. The mushroom cap uh, will then not have any structural integrity and it would easily break during uh, any type of stress. Let the pad eyes cool until they've lost their gloss. You can speed this up by fanning them with a, a piece of cardboard or whatever. Once they've cooled enough, you can remove them from the jig and you'll want to break off the feathered edges now, if properly melted, they're going to have a, a bulbous mushroom-shaped cap. This one looks good. Here you can see an improperly melted cap. It's very small, very thin, and under a lot of stress could actually pull through or break off in the slot in the deck. To ensure water tightness, uh, the caulking needs to be applied around the underside of the mushroom cap. Uh, don't use silicone here, but use uh, rather poly-seam seal all-purpose clear caulking. Uh, it's uh, white when applied, but it cures clear. Next, you'll want to thread the pad eye up through the slot in the deck. And by the way, the pad eye locations in the deck should be backed up by an additional patch of fiberglass before cutting the final slot. And the slot should only be 3 32 to an eighth of an inch wide. Too wide and it'll lose its structural integrity 
too narrow and it will be uh, tough to thread the pad eye through. Here's a view of the underside of the deck showing the mushroom cap of the pad eye and the uh, sealant. You can install the Redfish soft pad eye uh, with a very low profile, very tight to the deck, or by making it a little longer, it'll allow the perimeter deck line to stand off of the deck, which makes grabbing the line much easier in uh, an emergency.